Hi everybody, it's Wednesday and we are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Kramer to talk about the markets. And Jim, as we stand here with S&P 500, 2700, Byron Wien expecting a 10% correction, but we're going to finish the year above 3,000. Old friend Byron Wien, what I've always liked about his uh, surprises are that the ones he gets wrong don't cost you anything, the ones he gets right make you fortune. I think that the down 10%, uh, can it happen? Sure, absolutely. We've been looking for it. My question is, will you be ready for it? I think that Byron is great enough that you have to put it into your thinking because when you dismiss Byron, you dismiss history. And you don't even necessarily have to wait for a broader pullback as you highlight in real money. A lot of stocks report negative news. They go down and then they go up. Exactly. I mean, I think it's really important to point out that a CSX can be above where it was when Hunter Harrison died. I'm, I'm looking at IBM the upgrade today. I mean, I'm focused on GE. Uh, my friend Matt Horwin thinks that you've got to be careful. The GE chart looks good. I say be careful because I am very worried about the financials GE. We'll be discussing that uh, this evening. But yes, there are many stocks that are well down. Oracle upgrade today. Uh, so and I, I thought that upgrade was good enough for like three, four points. Uh, but I do think that it, people are desperate to find names. Uh, the analysts are going crazy. They're all talking about tax reform. Every single restaurant, the retailers, Nordstrom may be back in play. Holy cow, Macy's. It just the narrative just gets better. RBC on Disney saying the theme parks are going to be great. And don't forget that ESPN is in the rearview mirror. Wow. Well, you mentioned IBM, Disney. We also have United Technologies upgrade, Ulta, General Mills. I mean, yeah. what okay, is this let's all go, this Let's you? go through these. Ulta, they're talking about less promotional activity and uh, obviously tax reform beneficial. They can spend more money. I think that Ulta is very, very interesting. The stock has been been rocked because of this Amazon worry. Uh, it's incredible if the Death Star really isn't that important. I thought the United Technologies was just kind of like, okay, I need to upgrade something. Uh, upgrade United Tech. I mean, where was he at 109 when we pushed it hard here? hard United Technologies at 109. So, you know, I think that these are situations where the analysts need to be recommending. The IBM, that's an important upgrade because what's that saying is that the mainframe cycle, which is incredibly lucrative, is kicking in. Remember, that stock was really going down because Warren Buffett was selling. Maybe Sub Rosa, he's done selling. And General Mills, I thought the millennials okay, didn't the like General, General Mills. Okay. <laughs> the General Mills is really interesting. First of all, big beneficiary tax reform. Remember, it's, it's domestic. Zero Partners Worldwide is uh, that they have a partnership with is the rest of the world. Uh, they're talking about in the upgrade, they'll have more money to do promotion and therefore there'll be growth. Still worry about yogurt. General Mills is up nicely, but here's the problem with General Mills. That's the group that people don't like. You see the Kimberly down at 118? Uh, if Procter goes below uh, 88, I'm gonna push it hard because Nelson Peltz is on the board there. I think he can shake things up. One guy can shake things up, uh, but I, I am respectful about the idea that General Mills will use that cash to get some growth. All right, Jim, you mentioned tax reform. We now have American Airlines and Southwest giving bonuses to employees. I would say, I talked about it on Squawk on the Street, will McDonald's give $1,000? Wouldn't that be some kind of wrecked their quarter, but it would really be fabulous news. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that there is a sense, and this is really important, that the companies recognize that they were going to be on the hot seat if they use this money to buy back stock and uh, increase dividends. So the first thing they do is they give a G to their workers, okay? And by the way, they even give the G to the people who are uh, rate payers in South Carolina. That's the Dominion deal to buy Scanna. An incredibly huh. weird deal. I happen to like Dominion, stock deal. But what this does is take the heat off. It takes the heat off the business people. So they give the thousand dollars. Then a few months later or even weeks later, or perhaps when they report, you start seeing the big dividend boost and you start seeing the buyback. So there could be a second wave if we do have a dip here going into the quarter. Well, can JP Morgan pay all of its people a thousand? Probably not. But what JP Morgan can do is set a tone, because they're early, uh, Wells Fargo's early, where they basically say, listen, we're gonna buy back stock until the cows come home. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why Wells Fargo is at 60 uh, and is being 61 and is being forgiven. The forgiveness of this market is extraordinary. Well, Jim, it also fits into the theme you opened with on Mad Money last night, that whether you like President Trump or not, he has unleashed these animal spirits. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Trump thing's difficult to talk about, Trump thing. The pres President Trump's difficult to talk about. 50% of the people hate you. But I, I look at President Trump and stocks, okay? Right. I'm not talking about President Trump and what he's doing in North Korea. I'm saying that President Trump 
has made it so that people are less fearful of the government. There are a lot of new regulations that are always piled on. And what happens is you're starting to do a construction and there's a new regulation and then you got to figure out, well, wait a second, how much more is that going to cost me? Now, there will be a decline in construction in New York, uh, in New Jersey, in California. That's a huge part of the country, uh, really, in terms of population, because of the state and local. But you'll, you'll, see, you'll see a lot of construction, say, in the southeast. But see, people have been holding back because they re recognize that under President Obama, they, the, the risk of something changing was really great, and it would change the worst for capital. This president wants the stock market to go higher. Deregulation will let it go higher. Tax reform will make it go higher. All right, Jim, what do you have coming up on Man Money tonight? Mind Body. You know, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I mean, it's the beginning of the year. I'm trying to lose weight like everybody else. Mind Body is a company that is software for gyms, for uh, salons. I, I, it's kind of like Open Table was for restaurants, like Yelp. Uh, and I don't know whether it can make it big. So that's why I want to find out. That's why I want the CEO on. Yeah, and well, you've had Peloton on before as well. Peloton is going to come public, and it's a winner. I hate spinning. My wife loves it. We've got the Peloton in the, in the bedroom. I mean, what the hell is it doing in the bedroom? The dogs are in the bedroom. The Peloton's in the bedroom. I mean, what's next? I mean, it's a circus in there. And she's in India anyway. Follow her on Instagram. She's going nuts. She wants me to tweet less. She's Instagramming all over the place. She's been to places that nobody's ever been. I don't know. I didn't even know they existed. She was on the Pakistan border, too. The president was uh, kind of like tweeting at the same time. Thank heaven she doesn't watch Twitter. Oh, she would have been scared to death. Fascinating. All right, Jim Kramer, many more stocks to talk about. Oh, yeah. Jim and I are going to continue on ActionAlertsPlus.com. You yeah, have to you join us there. you got to subscribe. Come on. I mean, it's crazy.